Hi guys, Johnny here, JDFM. Hope you're well. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Hirith Call of the Dragon. And today we've got a game against Dagenham and Redbridge, but first of all, let's look at how our fortunes are favoured. If you remember the last game, Wimbledon away in the FA Cup proper first round, we didn't turn up and they beat us 2 0. And after that game, the boys responded with five wins on the bounce, and we were looking brilliant. Scoring goals for fun. Matty Blake with another two against Fylde. Alex Samuel also in a great bit of form. Scoring four goals in three games. Woken came to town and we destroyed them. And the same for Chorley. But then our fortunes somewhat turned around against a pretty poor talky side. Um, who had done the bottom of the table. We drew. And then these two games against Hartlepool in the FA Trophy. Which... I thought that might be another opportunity for silverware against some lesser known teams, but Jesus, Hartlepool came to the race course and in the first half tore us a new one. Honestly, they were 5 0 up and we were being destroyed. It could have been more, it could have been 6 7 8. And really, since then, our fortunes have stumbled. Halifax battered us. Admittedly, 1 0, they did batter us, and Hartlepool again. A bit of a bogey team for us at the moment. The last game against Aldershot, who were a good team this season around. A fantastic 4-3 victory, which sees our position still a lofty second position. But our form has faltered. Prior to that, we were flying and we were actually top. But Barnett now pipping us to it. So I'm not really looking at this first position. I'm looking at this bit here. 39 points with Harrogate. I want playoffs. If we can get into playoffs and be in the mix, I'll take that. There are some big teams that are Hartlepool are there, and they're going to come up the league. Guaranteed Halifax, they beat us. And like I said, all the shot, we beat them, and they were in fourth. So we've actually played some big teams, and there are a lot of teams down in the lower regions that we're due to play shortly. Dagenham Redbridge being one of those. They're battling for... I suppose to stay in the league and we're looking to get out of it so in terms of her performances alex samuel is in probably the form of his life down there the 7.26 just behind john rooney from barrow who's a decent midfielder will probably walk into our team to be fair matty blake look at the assists on this boy 13 by far and away the top assist maker in the league and he's continued to perform you know Goals, assists, only two play the matches in 24 games. And really, recently, he hasn't done that well. But he's still, by far, the best performer in our squad. And talking of our squad, I've added a few more faces. Yes, yeah, so after the Wimbledon game, I was annoyed. I wasn't happy with the performance. And I wanted to bring in some players. And I needed a right back. And I thought this guy would be okay, at least an improvement on what we had. If you think you got Danny Taylor who started that game, there's swings and roundabouts, but what I wanted was somebody with a bit more pace pushing forward, and that's where Arlen Birch came in. Really, in the games he's played, he's not done much, but it's another bum on a seat. We spent a bit of money on him, and we spent even more money on these two lads. Connor Lemon He Evans, who is Welsh, and he's a centre mid, box to box midfielder. And really, I'm happy with this guy. Defensively and attackingly, he's good. He's got some good physicals there. And for this level, I'm very happy. He's kind of come in over Divorn, who I didn't really want him to. Sturkey wasn't doing much for me, but. He's stepped it up a little bit. And really, alongside Connor, we've got a good midfield partnership there. And the third player I brought in was Ricardo Reese, Ricardo the Welshman. Again, this right-sided attacking wing play. We've struggled for a player all season. And this guy, I did a little scout report on him with Bath, uh, which he hadn't played for. And Bristol City were happy to sell him, so I snapped their hand off. And really, we only paid £40,000 potentially paid a little bit too much but he's come in he's only done a bit part for us and he's sadly had an injury which it's been the tale of our downfall really 
in particular when you look at these two and Alex Samuel in particular he's been out for a little while now and we've really fallen foul of it you look at his form prior to our dip in form nearly an 8.0 average with six goals in five games we've missed him we've missed him terribly I'll be honest with you and with Ricardo, who was playing on the wing, been injured as well in the same game, ironically. James Waite has been out there, and he's done okay, to be fair, but we're missing that central presence where Chris Venables has come in. Let's see what our suggested starting team is. So Vaughan and Lemming here, Evans, they swap you two round, lads. Birch is going to start alongside Evans, Collins, and Blake at the back. Jones, Thomas, Waite, and Phillips up front with Thomas, our main man. Problem I've got, we do not have strength in depth. And you look at the condition of this squad going into a game is not good. Matty Blake probably needs a risk, um, a rest. The risk is there to injury, and today might be that. Please don't tell me I have jinxed it. But look, we're up against one of the lesser teams in the league. I still think that it's the type of league where any team can beat any team on their given day. Let's see how we do. Team talk done. Let's get into the game. Dagenham Redbridge. Away. Come on, boys. We need a performance after our last couple of bad results. Phillips, who's come in on that right-hand side for the seventh play of the season... Doing a bit of magic. Oh, fantastic vision by Lemming he Evans to pick up Matty Blake, who smashes it home for his sixth goal of the season. Vaughan into Jones Thomas with that the softest head I've ever seen in my life. And look at that for a bit of composure into Blakey, who tumps it into the back of the net. 1-0 after less than 10 minutes. This is what I want to see. Ideally, Cutler Birdie goes. I'll take off some of our bigger names to give them a rest for the onslaught of fixtures that there seems to be in this division. There are games, honestly, all the time. 27 games before the 1st of January. Bear that in mind. Nuts. Vaughan, back to Evans. Dinks it up to Thomas, who misses the header and houses him behind. Not safe as houses. Smashes it away. And over the top, the house again. You're going to shoot from any sun. No inter -read who hits it over. Statistically, they are doing better than us. And I want more. Collins on a yellow card and 68%. I'm worrying about him. And Marty Blake in a 6.1. Birch for... Oh, that would have been huge before half time. Okay. Look, we're winning. I'll take that. I'll assertively tell them, you're playing well, but there is room for improvement. That's fair enough. And nobody responds. Assertively, ah, we go. I'll tell you individually that there's more to come for me, boys. Maybe that's what they like. They don't like me telling them they need to improve in front of their friends. They're like a little one-on-one -on -one time. Okay. Come on, Barnett must be winning because still in front of us. And we're into a good highlight in the 50th minute. Collins at the back, Lemming here, Evans, lots of space in the middle. And rather than pass, he loses it. Come on, man. Reed. Equalises across the keeper, which we've seen so many of those goals this year. But look at him. From his own third all the way up there, out wide across the keeper thought he was one of the inside posts because why wouldn't you think that louis gray and they're on the ascendancy now oh okay gray composure find a player or just hoof it up to wait to get it down to phillips back into wait oh i think he's hit the post unlucky there son oh i fucking called it i literally called it didn't i Mm, I don't know. Danny Taylor, who's on a left back, he's a right back. Oh, we're going to miss this boy. He could be out for a while with that, couldn't he? Like, who else is struggling? I can't risk any more of this now. 
The problem is we haven't got the players to bring on. Right, Wait is on a 62. He's coming off. Sturg's going back. Lemming Evans is coming up there. Thomas is on an 81. Jones Thomas, there's nobody to bring on. I need reinforcements in January. Next episode, transfer special. It will be the end of January, where I'm hoping we can... Maybe I'll show you my sort of tactic into bringing players in, because we're desperate at the moment. We are threadbare. And our elevated league position is fantastic, don't get me wrong, but because of the weakness in the squad, our fitness levels are falling short, and that's why we're losing games and teams at the bottom of the league. It's definitely been a, an element of our form. And Alex Reid, with his second goal against us, his fourth of the season, Put Dagenham and Redbridge 1-0 up. Oh, 20 minutes left. I need to make a change. And I think we need to change something tactically. This isn't working. We're not going defensive. Uh, what can I do? What can I do? I haven't even got a striker. I got Matty Argent, haven't I? Right, Jones Thomas, you have to come off, mate. You're on a 57%. Who can play out here? Anybody at all or not? No. Are you better out there? No. Oh. You've got to play in that role, bruv. Thomas attacking forward. Arjun Barnes, maybe a pressing forward. On support. Last throw of the dice. And that's all it is, is a throw of the dice. Come on. Quarter now gone. Left even. Four points off Barnet up top. Come on, ten minutes. Do something. Something creative. Balls in there. Reed almost gets his hat trick. And if you notice, Reed is up against Taylor, who's playing out of position, and he's battered him the second half. Oh no, it's all over, surely. Yep, Danny Taylor picks up a yellow card to finish things off, and we lose against Dagenham and Redbridge, who are fighting for their lives in the bottom. This lad destroyed us. And he's alright, but he's nothing special, you know? But I do suspect that Dagenham and Redbridge are playing below where they should be. They seemed a better team than somebody down here, which is the case. Fifth position they should be. They've even got, by the looks of it, was that Kasamu? I think I was one of their boys in the Media Dream 11, but, oh boys, we are falling short, and I do not want to see what's wrong with Matty Blake after that game. I've got a feeling it's a bad one. Passionately, oh, do you know what? We were terrible. Simple. You put the result aside for most of these games. Statistically, we're being battered. And to a man, they're not performing. Matty Blake. Be something, nothing. Oh, fuck's sake. Five weeks out with a fractured toe. He's going to be out. Oh, for a long while. And we are going to miss that. And do you know what? Even this lad, he's jaded. We need reinforcements, boys. So, with that being said, I'm going to go away to just before the Barnet game. There we go. We'll have a top of the table clash. We'll finish off the January transfer window. I'll talk you through some of the new additions, which they are going to be new additions, I can assure you. And then we'll have that game against Barnet. I'm pleased to see Matty Blake has moved up into the top average rating. And that was even after he was injured. He got away with that one with an 8.2. And then the table turned. So it's all falling apart. The wheels are falling off. But I'm pretty certain we can turn this round. So join me next time for the next episode of A Wrath Call of the Dragon. I've been Johnny. This is JDFM. You guys take care.